let's get started on the cartoon proportion project. So if you look at my picture, which is the upper top here, this is the photo that I chose. And if you notice, there is no frame around it. And, um, but what I did is you might be able to see that there is, you can see that it's been measured, it's been cut out. When I measured it, I cut it out so it was um, whole centimeter lengths. There's no decimals, it's just a whole centimeter length. So this, um, this is actually a 12 by 10 centimeter picture. And once you've determined how big you want to make it, now you can, um, you can crop it if you already have a frame around it. If you don't have a frame, you're going to have to create a frame because the next step that you're going to make is this centimeter grid. The most important thing with the centimeter grid is to make it even. Take your time, like Mr. Runkle says, measure twice, cut once. So what I did is I did these little tick marks all along the top of my frame, and then I slid my ruler straight down and I did the same. Which means if I started here where this was zero, one, two, as far as centimeters, here was zero, one, two. I don't flip my ruler around, I don't flip my picture around, I just slide the ruler straight down and do these little tick marks. And then the best thing I can suggest is stand up when you're doing this. It really gives you a better perspective if you're standing above your picture because you can see if the lines are straight. And then after you do the top and the bottom, you can turn your paper and do the same thing. These little tick marks going outside the frame. And then just take your ruler and lightly draw these grid marks. They're one centimeter grid marks. Be careful when you're using your ruler. Not all rulers end at zero or start at zero. Some have that gap. Just please be very, very careful when you're doing these. After you've made your centimeter grid, you're going to have to make a larger grid on your poster paper. You'll notice on mine that I did not use the edge of the paper as one of the sides. If you look at Riley's down here, this is the better way because you don't have to worry about everything being perfectly even because if you'll notice here, his um, he's using this side right here and he's using this side as two of his sides. Those are already straight sides. So when you're doing your measuring, you know that you're dealing with something straight because you're using the edges of your paper. And then you only have to do the measuring on the other side and this top part right here. You can look around at what's there, you can look at mine, and you have to decide how you want to enlarge this. So in Riley's case, obviously, this is his one centimeter grid cartoon, and he quadrupled it. So this is where the math is involved. You have to figure out how many centimeters are each one of these blocks going to be. And this is going to take a long time to do because of the measuring. Please write lightly, use a good eraser, take your time. I'm not expecting this to be done in a period. This will just doing this box right here is going to probably take a full period for you. Do not start drawing, don't start doing anything until I get back. Take your time.